So I finally did it. I switched from a smartphone to a proper mirrorless camera. Not just any camera, it's a full frame camera. I can't believe this actually happened and it really happened. So I was in a situation where I wasn't able to get the shot I was looking for in a smartphone. But now it's all can be possible because I bought a mirrorless full frame camera and it's Sony and yeah let me talk you to how I bought it and why I ended up buying this not any other camera and the reasons why I chose this let's talk about all this let's go it's 2021 March exactly that's when I decided to get a camera once I complete my 10th grade and exactly one year later 2022 March I thought of purchasing the camera but it got delayed due to few reasons then I finally decided to go with the Sony ZV-E10 because my number one priority was to go with the camera having 4K and it pretty much did it when I was about to go with that camera I asked some of the people I knew of from Twitter then during a conversation one of them said about the newly launched EOS R10 which is a better option than the ZV-E10 that changed my whole plan of buying the ZV-E10 to buying this Canon EOS R10 for which I waited one month just to again change my plan to buy the EOS R7 which is its big brother and had more features like C-Log especially then a YouTuber I follow named Technolo created a support WhatsApp chat so I tried that out asked them whether the EOS R7 is a good camera and they said it is overpriced instead asked me to go for the a7c that's how i ended up purchasing this so that's my camera story now let's get into the unboxing part so it comes in this small cute little box unboxing that We get a lot of booklets keeping that all aside we get the stuff for the camera and then we get its batteries and power cord now the camera itself it looks heavy at first and looks cute in my opinion keeping it aside we get the HDMI cable that's pretty much it I also bought the lens for the camera it's a 50mm f1.8 unboxing that We get the lens itself, a lens cap and the lens foot. That's pretty much it. In case if you're wondering why I didn't buy the kit lens, we'll be covering that in a moment. Now let me talk about my first impression. So here are my first impressions. And it has been exactly more than 24 hours with this camera and I took some pictures with it I also took some videos with it and the one you're looking right now at is shot on that camera it is see that bokeh blur that's because of the 50mm f1.8 and pro tip here I chose this 50mm f1.8 lens rather than picking up a kit lens because it's just a waste of money if you go for kit lens because it's gonna be trash 
f-stop is going to be higher and also it's yeah it might be flexible for some people but i don't think kit lens is good for many people so also it's just a waste of money so you can actually choose 50mm f1.8 by having ton of money through that so it's just a pro tip there and coming to the point of my first impressions i can't comment over it but you know it it's full frame and i'm going to show you some footages and some of the big shares you are you are right now looking at and it's very flexible to work on and i'm still learning how to use this camera and so far so good like i shot this whole video without any problem that's so good i'm i mean there are a lot of settings it shows me on the screen right now but i wasn't able to understand what literally those mean soon i will do so yeah i will update you guys through my review and uh, these are my first impressions and first of all talking about its design it's very light wait it's not lightweight actually it's lightweight in the standards of the cameras because mirrorless cameras are going to be heavy but this one is lightweight comparing to those as well as this one is very tiny i mean it's a full frame camera but the body looks like iaps camera and that's its benefit and many people might find it difficult to like my brother who was not good with holding this camera well and yeah he hated the design by the way but i'm okay with this design and i really find it more easier more easier to carry around and stuff like that it's a good camera even for street photography and stuff it's not just a video camera at all because it can shoot 4k all this stuff is good but it's just not a 4k camera it's more than a 4k camera it can sh shoot photos and not just any photos some stellar photos i took some photos during cyclone those came out really well and i posted those on my instagram yeah you can check out it on my instagram and my twitter yeah i post on both the platforms so yeah what checking out by the way and give it a follow To conclude this video with, I'm pretty satisfied with this camera. I love shooting photos and videos with it, and the output it gives are pure awesome. And uh, yeah, no regrets for now. But still, wait to point out some regret, some minor regrets. I would say, like there is no inbuilt fil ND filter in it. Like it's right now shooting at one by four thousand shutter speed because it is set on. Uh, picture priority so yeah if it is in a higher number you don't see a natural motion blur there so see it looks very fake I hate it but yeah buying an filter for that one would cost you badly $30 more so that's just damn worst thing also the accessories for this camera is going to be very, very expensive I hate to say that also uh, there is no 4K60 and uh, there is no 10 bit colors. You heard me right. There is just 8 bit colors with it. So if I'm shooting in S log 3 and color grading myself, it would be a big problem. So I'm not going to do that in this video, particularly. Maybe in the future videos, I will color grade myself by taking S log 3 footage. Uh, maybe I will give my whole review on that. 
mm, is this a big missing feature something like that but for now it's not an issue for me but in future it might be so these are some of the features these are the, some of the features it misses out which I really regret mm, so that's pretty much my verdict for now it's obviously just it's been around was like 48 hours plus with this camera so I can't give my full verdict on it so yeah I will be making a full-on review after a month or so and I'll catch you there um, maybe in another next video so peace For me, I really like corn. what do you like about corn it's cold Oh, I can tell you all about it. I mean, look at this thing.